Recently, I've covered some cracking watches that perform really well for very little money. In fact, the last watch that I featured was under £40. Nevertheless, is it possible to spend too little on a watch? And if you're one of those people who won't spend less than a grand on a watch, yeah, this channel isn't for you. Especially when it comes to this video, because if you thought the Casio F91W was cheap, this takes it to the next level. I thought it would be fun to go on Amazon and buy the cheapest watch listed on the site to see what you get or don't get for your money. At the time of purchasing, this was the very cheapest when you combine the retail price with the post and packaging at just £3.60. My favourite thing about this watch on the listing is that it's advertised as a luxury watch. I never knew £3.60 could get you a luxury watch. This piece is called Luxury Mens Watches Analog Quartz Silicon Strap Big Dial Wristwatch High End Simple Business Simple Sports Watch Waterproof Precision Fashion Anniversary Day. Hmm. Either way, I thought we'd open it together to see if it's even worth buying a watch at this sort of cost, or if it's better to just go with a naked wrist. Either that, or go with a Casio. Now hopefully with this one, I'm not gonna get coronavirus. This is from China, as the packaging would suggest. As such, I've got my hand sanitizer, though hopefully this took so long to arrive that any virus inside will be dead by now. And straight away, there's something about this package that you won't be able to see, but you will be able to hear. You can hear the tick. When I received this, you could hear the tick of the movement as clear as day, straight through the packaging. But not anymore. The movement has dramatically improved in uh, noise performance or it's died overnight. Either way, let's crack this open. Phoebes, this better be the right one. I haven't ordered any other shitty watches, have we? Okay then, so in terms of packaging, it's actually a little bit better than I expected. At least we've got some form of padding here when compared to some of the cheap Chinese watches I've tried before. They've just come slung straight like this in the naked bag. Okay, so first impressions for a two pound odd watch. Um, I mean, it, it does look terrible, but it probably doesn't look quite as bad as I'd imagined. Let's take a closer look at this and then run through some of these specifications. Okay, so here's what we've got inside. The movement has actually managed to start working again, even though I haven't removed the plastic section from the crown, which is quite bizarre. But either way, we'll get that out of the way. The watch seems to be ticking again, at least. Unfortunately, this isn't actually a chronograph of any sort. Those subdials are completely fake along with their respective hands. This one's just like a standard movement instead that's been chucked inside. But either way, this is very plain design as you'd expect. It's just black with all the bits and bobs across the dial in like an off-white slash yellowy color. Interestingly, it's got a tachymeter uh, on the inside running around the perimeter. Not sure wh why you'd use that to be honest with this watch. This has got a silver high shine finish throughout. An interesting part of this is actually the strap. Now, uh, it's kind of unusual because it's not actually any sort of metal at all, despite the appearance. This is actually constructed of silicon, which is kind of unusual. I've certainly not seen one that's like fake metal like this before. Nevertheless, it might be a surprisingly good choice, given the terrible metal that you might otherwise have to use at this sort of price. So overall, yeah, it, it just feels, as you'd expect, like plasticky. The whole watch itself feels incredibly lightweight. The case construction here, it feels like plastic and I'm pretty sure it is. If not, it's some form of incredibly low quality alloy. The pushers here are also completely fake, do absolutely nothing. And now that that movement is going again, uh, I'll tell you what, it puts a Timex Weekender to shame. It's gotta be one of the noisiest I've ever listened to. I'll try and give you some idea of what this sounds like. Now when you pay this little for a watch, aside from some of the corners I've already mentioned, there are other corners that are cut. One of which is gonna be the water resistance. Now, on the dial underneath that hour hand, it actually claims 200 meters, I'm presuming, of water resistance. Now with a watch like this, with just a basic snapback case, that ain't ever gonna happen. This thing will be seeping in water like no tomorrow. Also across the dial, you're just gonna have a flat piece of acrylic, which is incredibly basic, it's gonna scratch really easily. It's not gonna really give any scratch protection at all. Though may cope well with impacts, though I doubt the quality of the material used in this is gonna be particularly good anyway. 
Also, the dial as a whole is misaligned. It's fractionally rotated clockwise. And in fact, it's not even aligned fully with that tachymeter on the inside. Now with these Chinese watches like this, often they go for quite bizarre brand names in an attempt to sound European. This one here, we've got Gaiety watches. Make of it what you will. Is that the absolute worst brand name I've heard? Uh, probably not. But regardless of all this, you've got a watch that looks like a watch. It's got a movement inside and it's been shipped all the way from China for £2.60. Would I recommend buying one of these? Absolutely not. Personally, I'd rather wear absolutely nothing than wear this piece of junk on my wrist. Nevertheless, is it impressive that, that this is even achievable? I think so. Technically, this will work and it would serve you okay. Unless you wanted the chronograph features, of course. If you're after a super budget watch, I'd go with one of these instead. You can never go wrong with one of these cheap Casios, tend to perform a lot better, and they certainly feel a lot better than something like this. All for not significantly more money. That's a good option if you're desperate for a low cost watch. If not, if you want a watch that looks good, like a fashionable watch, save up a bit more money, get something a lot better than this. Nevertheless, for such a low amount of money, when you think about the law of diminishing returns, for only a couple of quid, you get a fair amount of things here. You got yourself a time telling device for barely any money. Now sure it lacks a ton of specifications and it really isn't gonna be very durable, but maybe this is the ultimate when it comes to bang for buck. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I wanna know what price point you think is technically the best value for money. Uh, I'll probably chuck this in a charity bin somewhere. Maybe someone will find some use out of it. Save your money, buy a better watch, don't waste. See you in the next one.